I do believe genetics, you know, plays a part. You know, like Asian bodybuilders, they're not all meant to be so big. So when you find a big Asian bodybuilder, it's, it's very rare. You do see them. I mean, not a, a lot of them have small bones, so they have, you know, nice structures for, like, classic physique. If you have really thick uh, joints, you're gonna need so much more size to make those joints look smaller, you know? So if you have very small joints and round muscle bellies, you may not need that much weight on the, on the scale to look a certain way. So it's just, you know, everybody's gonna have to work with their genetics and uh, it's gonna give very much, like, very different physiques. I think every nationality has some people great genetics, some people not so great. But I think Persians, Middle Easterns as a whole, they come from a wrestling and strength training background. They're really good mesomorphs. When you come to Africa, we have the genetics. You can even see someone who hasn't lifted weight before, but you see that that, that person is shredded with, um, with the physique. You see the frame, everything is there. And even when you look outside the Western world, most of the good bodybuilders are black. Then again, you want to look at these genetics at different parts of a bodybuilder because there are certain parts that Africans are not genetically gifted at. And when it comes to this part, you want to look at the legs, you want to look at your calves. Black people or Africans naturally do not have big calves. I remember being a teenager and people telling me in my gym, you know, don't worry about calves and things like that because, you know, you're black and black men don't have calves. You know, they just can't develop calves. So don't even worry about I that I told stuff. you this. Yeah. The only limitations there would have been the ones in my own mind.